Today, let's talk about selenium. Most of you have forgotten about taking selenium. It really is important for reproductive health, fighting off viruses, boosting up your immune system, helping you with inflammation, helping with preventing cancer, and helping with cancer, all kinds of things. Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist, get healthy now. Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Well, today I want to talk about good old trace element selenium, which does a great job of really keeping you healthy and is vital for health of everything in your body. But before I get into that, if you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up. Please tell other people. Please subscribe. 75% of you don't subscribe. And I really appreciate you subscribing in a big way. It makes a big difference. We also tell other people we can get people healthy here, for sure. And take a look at my website at paulhater.com. A man said the other day, this will take me, you know, a lifetime to get through all this information. It's a lot of stuff on my website. Check it out. Well, selenium is good for just about everything, especially good for thyroid uh, health and preventing thyroid disease, you know, hypothyroid, hyperthyroid, Graves' disease, uh, Hashimoto's, all those different things. And this is really, really, really important. It also helps to fight off viruses. And these days we need that for sure. Absolutely, positively. And well, without it, we can't really have an immune system that works and takes care of us. Also, it's just amazing for everything in the body. If you want to be healthy, you have to have some selenium. And it's a very, very, very important. Recommended daily allowance is 55 micrograms daily. 55 micrograms. A microgram is a thousandth of a milligram. So it's very little. You don't need much. And so that's very important. That's for men and women also. And those who are pregnant or nursing, about 60 to 70 micrograms is really good for them. They need just a little bit more. As far as cancer goes, long-term studies showed that it could reduce the risk of cancer anywhere from 31 to 45 percent, and that's a huge amount. Uh, as far as whether it will actually be reproducible or not, well, there is a lot of controversy on that, but I take my selenium. Absolutely. As I said, it helps with thyroid you know, health. You want to prevent hyperthyroid, hypothyroidism, you know, Hashimoto's, all those different autoimmune things. This is very important. And without having enough selenium, you go into huge problems. But too much is not good either. So I'll talk about a little more. Uh, that a little more in a little bit. Boost up your immune system. Fights off viruses. Man, we need that now. Also helps with reproductive health for men and women. So this is super important. Also fights off free radicals and gets rid of inflammation in the body. And everybody's got some kind of inflammation going on. I recommend you get your selenium level checked. I just did. And mine is right in the, in the um, median, the middle area. And so I'm really great as far as that goes. Where do you get uh, selenium from? Of course, meats. But I don't eat meat, of course. Uh, mine I get from cereals, beans, lentils, uh, grains in general. Also, Brazil nuts have a huge amount. I don't eat them because they really have a huge amount that could put you overboard into toxicity. Lack of selenium is not common at all, but people who do have lack of selenium can have cardiomyopathy and also forms of arthritis which is a big thing. And also nausea, vomiting, headaches, uh, also altered states of, you know, just can't, brain fog, confusion, lethargy, seizures, all kind, even Alzheimer's. But too much selenium is not good either. That, that is a toxicity. And that can account for muscle tremors, you know, stomach aches, uh, light, lightheadedness, feeling dizzy, heart attacks, respiratory distress, kidney failure, on and on. And as I said, eating too many Brazil nuts, which have a huge amount of selenium in them, are really not good because they can put you into, you know, hyper selenium in your body and toxicity. So I don't eat nuts in general. 
they have a lot of saturated fat in them also. And my cholesterol last time, uh, a couple months ago, actually was 131. Really good. Selenium is needed for thyroid health, as I said, and it also interacts with iodine in the body. If you have too much iodine, the selenium goes down. If you have too much selenium, the iodine goes down. So it's got to have a balance for sure. And so I take a small amount of selenium in the form of chlorella. Chlorella is a mega vitamin. This is now brand chlorella, 1000 milligram uh, tablets. I take three of those every morning and my selenium is right in the middle. This has all your essential protein, non-essential proteins, vitamins, minerals, trace minerals, everything. It's just amazing stuff. So there you have it. The good and the plus and minus of taking selenium. It is good for the body, but too much is bad for the body. That's also true. So he's got to have a balance there for sure. And so you know, take some, check your, first of all, check your selenium levels. You can have your doctor do that. Really simple to do. And that will find out exactly how much selenium you have. If you have something going on, give me a call at 831-869-9119. 831-869-9119. If you click on show more, all my contact information is down below. Or if you go to paulhader.com, Dot com. All my contact information is there also. And we can get you healthy. I reverse things. You know, I just had a man that started out with last week with a blood sugar of 267. And in less than a week, we have it down to 120. We're going to have it in the 80s by the end of the week. Remember God. Remember I love you. And remember to have rest. You know, even God you know, created the heavens and the earth and he rested on the seventh day. You know, we can't be really our true selves if we're just dragging around and don't take time for ourselves. You know, I see some people work almost 24-7. Yeah, my dad died of a stress-induced heart attack uh, at 57. He worked 16-hour days. Not good. We really need to have balance. We have Eight hours for sleep, eight hours for work, and eight hours for play. That is very important, and people have forgotten how to play. I love you.